What's going on YouTube? This is the road to Unreal where I take you through Diamond all the way to Unreal and we want to do this as quick as possible for you for your benefit. I make the mistakes so that you don't have to. In this series we're going to go from Elite 0 all the way to Elite 30% and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to get you there faster. There are several tips and tricks on each race. Everyone is unique. I will post more guides on each of these tracks so that uh, there will be a more in-depth kind of thing. This is going to be mainly a gameplay video for your enjoyment. Hitting these boost pads, a lot of people do them on a straight. You should be trying to hit them at an angle. If you do that, you'll trigger both of them at the same time. That's going to give you 200 boost speed instead of just 100. These ones here, you could try also and get them at an angle, but I just find that it's a little bit tricky to try and, and uh, turn your car around or turn it to the side while in a drift and hitting that. For this Elite Series, I don't think it's necessary to do that. You will still place in the top three even if you don't. By the way, what do you think of my new car? Just got it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. What color should my, my trail be? What should my boost color be? Give me some, give me some ideas, guys. As you saw there on that boost pad, I hit it at an angle. That's exactly what you want to do. Again, there we go. I hit this one on an angle as well. Building up your boost is one of the most important things you can do on this map. Whenever you have the opportunity to do so and your speed is under 800, I would recommend trying to do that. Just give it a good drift, try and give it a medium sized drift, don't have to be a long one. Always hold your drift button. I like to boost over here because it's just a, a very long straight that nobody ever boosts there. so. I try to do that and that, try, that normally puts me in front. And there you have it. Second place would have been first. That guy underneath me snuck up and took the shorter route. And I mean, it's a very, very close one. And that puts us on 2% on Unreal. Alright, Curvy Canyon. This is such a nice track to race on. If you know the track really well, this is going to give you a huge advantage. So if you don't know the track inside out, you don't know which corners to take, go and practice this one. This one is a lot of fun once you know what you're doing. Um, I see the game decided to take my car away on this one. Right, pointers that I can give on this piece. I always boost right over there. I'm trying to position myself, at, oh, I'm trying to give myself the best opportunity on the third lap. To boost at exactly the right moment so I'm perfecting that I'm, I'm a creature of habit so I'm going to try and do the book the boost at the same time every time I think that's a good idea let me know if that works for you if it doesn't well I'll come up with something else that will be more general but for me this works really well right I hit a I hit a hazard there Recovering from it is quite simple. You have two options. Either you're going to hit your boost button or you're going to do a drift. If you were drifting already, just ignore it. Your boost from the drift will counter that and your speed loss will be minor. Um, getting these boost pads here is very important. Without them, you won't have enough speed to jump off onto the roof here. And there again, our boost. 
So I do a second boost here. I was just fiddling around and I did see that I had too much boost. I like to take this shortcut. I see not many people do it in Elite. It's very strange. I think they're trying to build up their boost bar more. But I find that you have enough boost. You don't need to do that. You can take the shortcut. Nice long drift. I always take this shortcut. I saw it in one of the world record videos and I really liked it. I digged it. I'm going to give um, give some uh, credit where credit is due. Tiger Aura. He's the guy that I saw do that trick first. That little, that little shortcut. And ever since I've been doing it. And it's awesome. So thank you Tiger Aura. And we play second, second in this race. Could we have done things better? Yes, of course we could have. Uh, if we didn't hit hazards, if we optimized our boost maybe a little bit better, maybe drifted a bit more. But I mean, the time, the time difference from that guy is minuscule. All right, Windy Way. Oh, geez, where do I begin on this one? I like to get that boost pad at the top there. Many people don't, and that's okay. You don't have to, you can take the inside line. I find it just easier to do that it gets me out of the way of everyone else because nobody really wants to take that risk uh, but there's me i'm always going to take that risk don't worry if people are in front of you at this point it's okay this is lap one now here's the trick you're going to jump over there and boost as close as possible to those those buildings there this is going to give you the edge Another important thing is coming up here, hitting these boost pads and then hitting the turbo and looking for this boost pad over here. That is just such a streamline. You have to do it. You can see why I keep going for that pad. It's the completion to that whole thing. Uh, another thing you could try to do is every time you're in the air, just, just air dodge down. Get down to the ground closer cause, or faster because this is where you gain speed quicker. Like, if you're in the air, you have a cap. On the ground, you also have a cap, but I think the cap's higher. Hit that boost. And go through that checkpoint. Right, I'm in first now, and I'm pretty certain that I'm going to take this race. This race is mine. I got it. Boost, turbo, hit the pad. Right, see, I'm practicing what I preach. I'm doing the, the whole end strategy each time so I conserve my boost and now I know this is what I need to do to make sure and I actually didn't make a mistake then I recover what do I do I don't fall down I go back I just jump up go back correct my steering that's all you need to do just stay calm you'll often find in the lower ranks, people panic quickly and they don't know what to do. In the higher ranks, and this starts from elite, you're gonna start seeing people reacting quicker, recovering better. So you should too. If you struggle with this, let me know in the comment section below. I'll make a video for you. Cool, we took first place and that's great. This is our first place victory, first victory for first place in our series. All right, Outpost, we're at 8% Elite. Feels like a never ending road at this point. This shortcut here is a must. You have to do it. If you don't do it, others will and they will be in front of you. And it's not a difficult shortcut to do. I'll explain it on the second take. Here's another shortcut you need to take, this little house here. There's a boost pad there, but if it's crowded, rather skip it. You will, you will find yourself in a very tight situation, get plummeted into the wall, and I'm sure you guys have died many times there already. Again, practicing my end strategy. I'm gonna be boosting there, drifting, and then having that small little boost. I'm hoping to get a second boost, a second uh, turbo, so that I can use it there. But I don't know if I can build it up in time. 
tight corner. I tried to take that as tight as possible, but the reason I didn't die there was because I was holding in my boost button. Fuck oh my. I was holding in my drift button. Alright, cool. So I drifted. You're gonna do a slight drift to the left. Jump up while holding your drift button. And then fly overboard. Over that. And then I always turbo under that bridge. Most people go to the top there. I don't know what I'm missing. I don't see anything up there. It just seems like crowded space. Maybe it's so they don't have to jump when they come down. Alright, I know that I'm not first. I'm not panicking. I see people in front of me and that's okay. I'm going to do the best that I can and that will be enough. Drift. catching some draft whenever you can on a straight look for drafts that you can catch this is so beneficial and many people take advantage of this and don't know why don't know don't know how to do it properly Cool, you see how crowded it gets there? Almost hit, nicked the wall there. I was very lucky not to die. Doing a nice long drift here because I'm trying to get that second boost. I really want it. And I don't I don't get it. I don't think I'm gonna have it in time either. So it's okay. Whoa! Almost fall off. And I recover. Again, calm, consistent. This is our first third place and that's fine. Let me know what your favorite track is. I'd really like to know. Alright, Puddle Jumper. This is one of my absolute favorites. Again, getting a boost here is crucial. And then drifting here, not needed. I find that I need more boost than most people, so I try to do it there. Okay, these boost pads here are great. Uh, problem with them is that there's a... There's a hazard there that's really stopping everyone from getting them. So your your dodge down button reactions are gonna be need to be really on point here. So if you if you're practicing this, that's one thing you can definitely practice. Guys, look at the amount of hazards that I've gone through already. I think it's been three in the first lap, and I'm still able to maintain a decent position. I'm in fifth, fourth. All right, and here's where I bring the bacon. Let's go. Boosts. Drift. Jump boost. Again. Another one. Drift around this corner, and this last one is difficult to get because of the speed you're taking and the angle. I hit a, I hit a hazard. This is already better. One hazard versus three. There's a little shortcut there that you can take. It is a difficult one to get, but it will put you out in front if you do take it. It's risky, guys. If you are looking at taking shortcuts, I would suggest practicing them beforehand. But really, really practice them. They must be they must become muscle memory. Alright. Final lap. I know what to do. Got my boost on. Got my drift on. Game face. I'm now in first position. And I was in fifth. I hit that hazard again. And that's no no buggy. No buggy for me. I take the shortcut. Because I need the time. It almost doesn't work for me. And I managed to I managed to bring it over. Alright, there is another shortcut. Yeah, you could jump up and just fly around the corner. I find that it is a little bit faster. But because of all the hazards there, it makes it difficult on this map. But first place was the house. Alright, and that is Elite 16%. Done. Or Elite 13%, sorry. Alright, so. Here we are. I've done this map several times on my channel. I don't think there's many things for me to say about this one. I do things identical to those previous videos 
go check it out guys it's it is on the previous videos it's on my shorts it's everywhere this track is one of my favorite ones i'm really good at this one you're gonna want to come here and jump up take the shortcut that's crucial get the boost pad take the left path the right path is a trick there are more boost pads there you don't want to do that it's shorter to go to the left Some people go up, that's also a mistake. You want to you want to stay down. And if you're feeling like, if you've gotten hit by a hazard at that point, you want to try and turbo there. That will really help remedy your situation. The double boost pads there are always a nice thing to grab. At this point I'm first place. And I get smacked by that guy. I'm not worried. I know if I don't make a mistake. I'll be fine, I'm ahead of him. I know my, my route is fast. I can see him in my rearview mirror, so I know he's taking my route, waiting for me to make a mistake, so I'm not gonna let him pressurize me. Cool, there's that boost. Got one for the end, and I'm building up that second one. There we go, I got two. I would boost somewhere, somewhere just after the checkpoint. There he is, boost, boost again. And that's just enough to put you in first. You could have boosted earlier, but you would have st he will stand the risk of not passing that corner at a tight enough angle. Right. Sidewinder. I don't like this track. I don't know why. I just think that there's too much drifting. These tunnels, man, I have some serious PTSD from these tunnels. The inverse, co inverted controls, the car sliding up on the tunnels. This happened back in Diamond. Go check it out, guys. It was so hectic. I've learned from my mistakes, though. What you want to do is just hold that drift. Boost over here. Hold the drift. Let it go on the straights. Hold it. Let it go. Hold it. Don't let it go too much. Too much speed is so bad, yeah, and I bumped the walls here so many times. And that didn't really do much to my speed. Why? Because I was boosting while I was getting the boost from the drift. Alright, so here's the trick. You're gonna jump up here and then boost. I don't have one right now, but I'll show you on the second lap. Again with the boost. I like to boost there. It's uh, you can't really do anything on that side. It's too many hazards to drift, and it doesn't make sense to just drive through there. So boost. It's going to give you an advantage. All right. At uh, this time, I see someone behind me. Not stressed. I know that I have enough boost, enough turbo. I'm maintaining a, a good speed. And I now see him again, the blimp, a small little blimp at the back. Alright, here I try not to make that same mistake and I nail it. Boost. If you feel like you want to just get another um, air dodge, you can hit one of those walls at the top there, it will slow you down. See, there's the boost. Fly over all those hazards and you're going to do an air dodge to the left just after that first flag. You can cut it closer, but I find going on that very first flag and doing the air dodge is not much of a difference it's a couple split seconds and it won't matter at this point in our rank maybe in unreal where you're shaving split seconds right now we don't really care we just want to get to first place You can already see, there's nobody behind me. Follow these tips, you will get what you want. I don't practice a lot guys, 
play maybe one to two hours a day, maybe at night. There you go, first place. What did you guys think of that? Let me know. Cool, Riviera. I think I've played this map maybe twice since I've been since I started the game. I've maybe played this twice, and um, in practice, I don't practice this map a lot because I don't get it. I don't get this map. I, I almost never get it, and it looks like it might be a thing now in um, in Unreal, not in Unreal, in un in Elite, where this map starts popping up a little bit more. It is a tougher map. There are more errors to make. Um, I don't know the the shortcuts very well. I know one. Again, this is from Tiger Aura that I saw, and uh, he inspired me to try that. Try it right there. Well, not there. Um, I'll try this shortcut coming up. And I find the secret here is to try and gain as much speed around this turn. So I bumped the side of there, so this is going to be a little tricky for me. If you get that drift perfect, then the very next one, the minute you cross the ver this one here, you're going to jump. Go up here, air dodge down and get these boost pads. This is going to help so much because there's a whole bunch of commotion going on at the bottom there. Jump up here, fly through the air or drift. You can decide what you want to do. I was comfortable to drift there just because of my speed. And I die. It's okay. I don't panic. I boost to try and catch up. Remember, the game is going to give you the advantage because of the catch up mechanics. And that guy was turning really like making it difficult for me to take the shortcut. Okay, so I've, I've wet my feet now and I kind of know exactly what I want to do. So here we go. I get draft. I try and get one for as long as possible. I take this guy. And I know there's going to be a sharp turn coming up, so I try to drift through this one. And I see, okay, maybe not super viable, but it was okay. I didn't lose too much. Again, drift, drift over here. Very sharp. And then jump up. This is a nice shortcut to have, and I almost die there again. Don't drift too early when you get to the top. Alright, drift. Nice and tight. Another one. Nice and tight. I'm already better than the first lap. Alright, cool. Here comes a shortcut. Now, I jumped before I even drifted. I should have drifted there to carry the drift over to the top. Excellent stuff. We're now in second place. Cool, I won't die here again, so we boost. And we managed to steal first place for a moment. We go through that shortcut there. It is a risky one. I could have cost me the race doing that. But what's worth it? Now this guy in front of me had to have used the boost, so I know he's a boost down. I don't know how much he has. But I can see, judging by how he's drifting, he's pretty confident at this map. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell him for a bit. I know that the shortcuts are coming up. I'm hoping I can take him right here. We're closing the gap. So we're closer to his trail now. He used another boost. So now I'm two boosts up on him, so I know three boosts up on him. We've got full boost set, I know I'm going to need to use this very soon, so I decide to use it now, I think. Wait for the boost pads. And I don't do it. Okay, well there we go, there's the first boost. We go through here, all handy and dandy. And I know I'm going to want to use the boost on the shortcut here, so there's the first boost. And I'm going to use the second boost in the next shortcut. And that puts me in first place. He's right behind me. Hit that boost. 
Come here and air dodge. Beautiful drift. I don't know what happened to that guy. He possibly died. And that's given us first place. Very nice. For a track that I've only played twice. So takeaways, man. The things that you can do if you just stay calm. Cool, next race. We're looking at... I don't know what this is. I think it was Puddle, puddle Jumper. Anyway, this is also a nice track. Um, shortcuts that I got from this one were from Lane Racing. Go check his channel out. He's really good. Cool. Get these boost pads. I'm already out in front and this is great. Playing like an unreal player. He used to take a shortcut through the through the mountains there and that seems to not be the right thing to do. Rather drift there so you can accumulate some more boost. Boost that is very needed. And I hit this perfectly. I don't think I could do it better. I'm very confident I'm going to take first place in this race at this point. And my thinking is well, just keep on keeping on. As long as I don't make a mistake, I should be good. And I get every single boost pad. And it's great. Okay, drift. Trying to line up my angles. Get those boost pads. Hit it. I missed one, but it's okay the boost here. I am far in front so I'm not too worried. Here we go. Some people air dodge to the left there. I don't feel like it's needed. Just a simple turn is enough. And I hit a boot. I hit a hazard right there. I look back and I don't see anything. I don't see anyone behind me, so I know first place is mine. Here we go. And it's as simple as that, guys. Under pressure, don't panic. If you make a mistake, don't panic. Cool. 